Hey guys, it's Rebecca Brissett. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of my eyeliners, whether they are in pencil form, which I have 42, uh, gel, which I have two, and liquid, which I now have 32. I forget about quite a few of these because I, well, yeah, yeah. Um, my friend Jason bought me these, which is all these like colorful ones in here for my birthday last year. So I could do like artistic looks for it. And I've used a couple of them and I hate them. It's like putting plastic on your skin and it's painful to get off. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, is like my liquid liners from my line of cosmetics or the gel liners and stuff I forget about because I leave them in this little drawer thing that sits on the counter and I absolutely forget to go in it unless it's for like lip balm or my masks or perfume. So I completely forget that I have those. So I plan on panning a couple of these. Um, I don't know about decluttering any of these, but as of right now, I'm going to just go through all the colors that I have and swatch them out on my arm, like I've been doing with some of my other, you know, inventories and stuff like that. That way you guys can see the variety of colors that I own. Get some of these like moved up a little bit so I have room for an arm. And I did bring two brushes so I could get into these. These I've had a lot of my liners, which are from here over and from here over, well, minus this one. Uh, so the ends of both rows and then these two, a lot of these liners I've had since like 2012. Some of them I've had since 2015, but it, it ranges from 2012 on. Um, and I've got a cut like this one here was a tester that since I'm no longer like at a physical location, I don't need a tester anymore. Um, so a lot of like my gel liners, even some of the ones in inventory, I have a mark down because when you go to rub a brush into them, as you can see, it's like super dry. And um, even if you try and like use a little bit of oil to like reconstitute it, this is the color blue fish. Um, I'm having a hard time like even trying to use it. So what I plan on doing with these is I'm going to scrape the little guys out and I'm going to probably um, throw these in the dishwasher next time I run it for big stuff because I've been hand washing stuff lately. Because these are, look at this, it's like so dried out, I can't even pick up product on it. Like, look at this. It, it's really, it's really hard. So there's no point in even swatching these two. So those two will actually, the contents of those jars will be going into the garbage. Um, so I guess I'm getting rid of two products so far. And because this is a waterproof gel liner, um, I'm going to have to use makeup remover on my brush to get it out. All right, so starting off with, we'll do liquid liners first. Um, this is one from L'Oreal. This is the Flash Cat Eye. I don't know. I'll try and keep these in order. This has a, oh, it's like, it's weird all of a sudden. It has like a bunch of little like, I didn't know it was doing that. This liner is new to me. Um, I've only had it since like October, November last year. And I'm a little concerned that the liner is like fraying. This is a brush tip applicator. But what's cool about this liner is, and maybe it's the cat that's doing it, but what's cool about this liner is this little guy actually comes off and it's flexible. So you could use it to guide your way to a perfect wing. And it's, there's also a notch in it here that you can use to put up on the corner of your eye. There's many different ways to use this. And I thought that was handy. And it came with those cute little cat ears. Next is the Araceli. This is the Ojos Perfecto so Liquid Eyeliner. I'm actually wearing this right now. This is a really nice felt tip, very black eyeliner. Um, this is just like my Milani Eye Tech Extreme, and it does not transfer on my eyes, which is fantastic. This was the Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. This is also a brush tip. This is like, this is a brush like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I have one of those I got from a Sephora Play. I didn't buy it specifically. I didn't go out of my way to buy it. Then we have a BH Liquid Eyeliner. This is new. I've never even used it. Oh, it's a felt tip. Then we have the Ciate Fierce Flicks. This one was dying on me and I took the tip out and turned it around and it's got a little bit of life left back in it. And you'll find with some blacks when they dry down, they dry down kind of gray or brown as some of these are doing. Um, the uh, Ciate London Starstruck Liner has a stamp on one side, which I'll put over here. And if you can see it. Um, this was an Ipsy like exclusive. Uh, I know Milk Makeup does ones that have a little stamp on them. It's a nice liner. Nothing spectacular about it. Then we have the CoverGirl Intensify Me. It has a very itty bitty tiny little uh, felt tip on it and it's more gray than black. 
I think I'm gonna put this aside. Well, I'm gonna put it in the front. That way I'll try and like, I wanna use that one up. Um, I wanna use the Fierce Flicks up. I'll pull things to like, I'm gonna try and like use up some of these. This is the ColourPop Liquid Eyeliner in Graceland. I bought that with the Aha Honey collab, the kit thing. This is the Kat Von D liner. This stuff, it's not waterproof. It's not water resistant. It looks kind of brown on the skin. I probably ought to put that in my to use up as well. The Kaleidos Cosmetics. Um, I haven't even opened this. So let's do that now. This is in Obsidian, it looks like. It's also a felt tip. It looks very dried out and gray. Not a very good first impression. Then we have my Ciate London. This stuff is waterproof. It's a brown liquid liner, which is nice. You can use it in your eyebrows. Um, you can use it on your eyes. I've used it for artwork. It's really nice. And it's, it is a nice rich brown. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. This I got in that little sample bag I got from Ipsy. This stuff, I like the tip on it. It's nice and black, but it transfers from my lash line all the way up to my brow bone if I'm not careful with it. This one is also a cover girl. This is the uh, just their liquid liner in 320. It's a little pot liner. I got like a bunch of like black liquid liners. Ew, that looks super watery. It's got like a watery trail on it. You can get a very fine line with this and I haven't used it in a while. Maybe I should have shook it up a little bit more, but it's a nice liner. It, it is what it is. Then we get into the colorful ones. Oh, this is a NYX one. My bad. I got this for artistic purposes too. All right, now into the ones that my friend Jason bought me for my birthday. I just took all the wrapping off of these. I do not like how thick. Ooh, that brush is like super hard. The brush does not, look at this. It doesn't even wanna, like, I don't know. It's like, they're super hard. They dry down like they're plastic. I've looked at some of the ingredients in it and like PVC is one of the main ingredients in it, which is a form of plastic. This one here looks dried out. And I just, it's like all the way down to here. It looks like a quarter of the way empty already. Actually, I can see it in the tube. It's all the way down to here. Huh. I used the white one in a Halloween look. Well, these brushes aren't as stiff as that pink one. I don't know what was wrong with the pink one. Until I haven't used this one. Couldn't even get it open. I mean, they're nice, but it smells kind of like a oh, lady's perfume. I just sniffed it. Yes, I'm one of those weirdos. I like to sniff things because depending on what they smell like depends on how bad my eyes are going to water. Oh, that, that one's like, it's got a different brush on it than some of the other ones. That's a hot pink though. Ooh, buddy. That's a pretty shade. Too bad the brush on it kind of sucks. I mean, these came from Amazon. I had them on a wish list because I was interested in like getting some colorful liquid liners and NYX doesn't sell like an entire kit of theirs from what I, I know, but that's an interesting brown. Hmm. This also gives me ideas of what I can use these liners for, for like makeup looks and stuff. Oh, that's a pretty green. We're in an arm room here. That brush is super stiff too. Well, it's definitely a different brown than the other one. Then we get into my liquid liners. Um, <laughs> it's been a while since I've used this one. The brush is completely dorked up. This should be the shade Saddle. Yep, Saddle Up. See, this is one thing I didn't like. When my manufacturers went to make my eyeliners and stuff, they put these weird little brushes in them and uh, I didn't care for them. And once I had already ordered so many of them um, and I wanted to change the packaging, they were like, nope, sorry. This one's like dried out. This one is in Mermaid. This was like one of my best sellers for the longest time because of the color of it. 
it's like a teal green with um, pretty glitter in it. Then we have radioactive. And I again, a lot of these are like really old. This brush is a little janky too. This is a similar shade to my um, limestone. And um, Mermaid is very similar to Envy Me. Then we have Prism. Yeah, Prism. It's like, it's like a libido and occult mix. It's a purple with multicolored glitter in it. Then we have, what is this, Midnight Chill. This is a navy blue, like the shiver shade. And I will go ahead and put their corresponding colors underneath of them so you can see what they are similar to. This one here is a glitter liquid liner. And it's very sheer. It's like a light gray with glitter. It it's never gone on my eye like super black. And I did not like I like the the shape of this, but I didn't like how it applied. Alright. Here we have Envy Me. I have two of these. I'll put that underneath Mermaid. So this is one of the ones that I want to use up. Because that's the tester one. Here's the other one that I have. So I have like two of them. And it's just, it's almost the same shade as Mermaid. And then we have Limestone, which is drying out on me. I did sharpen all of these. This one is so dried up. I think I'm just going to trash it. I've got a couple more in stock if I really want. See, this is what happens when you have really old liner. So that's one that's going to go in the trash. I'll just stick it in there. And then I'll do libido and occult next. I do have some of these still in stock. I think I've got them for like eight bucks or ten bucks. There's libido and then occult. Occult is like a purpley silver. And then Shiver is the next one that matches. And a lot of my liners, like the liquid liners in the, the tubes, are 100% waterproof. You can wear them suckers to the beach and they will last through ocean water. Mercury is the only one that I have that's similar to Prism. It's like a silvery gray shade. And those are the ultimate lines. These I pulled like years ago. This is the highlighter. This is just a regular cold pencil. I have taupe and coffee. I use taupe and coffee in my brows. So we have the highlighter shade, which these are a little bit rough. These are wooden pencils that are made in the Czech Republic. The other ones are made in Germany. Well, the, the plastic stuff is made in Germany. The contents and formulas and whatnot for the insides were made in the USA and New York. Here's coffee. Taupe is a little bit lighter than the coffee shade. I use both in my brows. And then we have Quest, which is just a standard matte brown. Gravity, which is a black with silver shimmer. Mythology, which is a bronze, it's a bronzy brown. And there's, there's shimmer in it as well. Then we have Ninja, which I do not have any more in stock. You know what, I'm going to put that one in to use up as well. And we have Skyline, which is a really pretty, like, vibrant blue. Meteor, which is a, a black with gold glitter. And then we have Diamond, which is a bright silver, really pretty silver shade. I'm really happy with how Diamond and Cleopatra turned out for those formulas. Okay, now into the pixie ones that I own. I have Opal Overcoat and Rose Quartz. So here is, I think that's what, it, oh, excuse me, Rose Glow. Ooh, I just broke off onto the counter. I don't want that rolling around. And then we have the Opal Overcoat, which is like a rose gold champagne-y color. Then we have an LA Colors one. I got this for the Dollar Store Makeup Challenge. I use this for like art makeup. I don't use this on my like actual eyes anymore. And it's not really that black. I use it for drawing designs on my face and then as like a base. The Smashbox Fishnet Always On Gel Liner. I love this for my waterline. It's rich and black and stays. So I'm going to put that in my to use up. Then we have the It Cosmetics um, 
always, what is this? Yeah, this is the always on gel liner. And it's breaking on me. Let me peel that off and throw that away. This one twists up and I've been having problems with it not wanting to go on the skin. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out. That's, I know. Then we have the Tarte Sex Kitten Liner. That always glides on super easily. I don't have any issues with it. I got that in an Ipsy. A lot of these like black eyeliners, of course, I got from an Ipsy. This is the Ardency in Modster Liner. It's also a very black liner. We have the Rodile Smoky Eye Pen. I tried using this in my waterline the other day and needless to say, it ran all underneath my eyes. And every time my eyes watered, it ran everywhere else, but where I wanted it. This is the uh, Aero Enhanced Bright Now. This is a BH, or not a BH, a Birchbox product. Then we have Sepia and 24 Karat from Avon. These came from an Ipsy. One I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag, one I bought as an add-on. That was Sepia, and then we have 24 Karat. I needed an actual gold liner. I didn't have a gold liner, so I bought that. I also have uh, one I've gotten recently from BH as well. This is a Ciate London Wonder, Wonder Wand. And there is a little brush on the other end. It's an okay eyeliner. And we have two from Maybelline. These are the Lasting Dramas. This is actually what I have in my waterline right now. And this is White Luster. And then we have Moonlit Purple. It's a really pretty like a lavender shade. And my two color pop, I thought, yeah, no, I have three. Okay, my three color pop ones, I have Exit, Punch, and DTLA. I had Get Paid, but it like died. This is DTLA. This is an old one. I probably ought to use this up. It's a navy blue shade, so I'm gonna put that in my to use up pile. And we have Exit, which is a nice opaque white liner. I've used the shit out of that liner. And then Punch. It's not quite as yellow as I would I was expecting it to be. It's more of like an orangey yellow. So I need a like bright yellow yellow. And I have three from BH. I have Shimmer Gold, Teal, and Shimmer Pearl. And these are actually, this is a different colored gold than the Avon one. It's more like an antique gold shade. It's really pretty. And these are super, super soft. First time I used the teal one in my waterline, it didn't want to like stay. Uh, it lasted about two hours and then vanished. Uh, but I had to figure out, I put it in and then I put it in and do my eyes and then add it again afterwards. And I noticed that it would stay in my waterline if I built it up like after I did my eyes. We have two from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible in white. And then I have Nude Beige. These are both infallible ones, but one of them has like a little smudger on it. I don't know how you're gonna, you're gonna be able to see that. And then we have Milk and Oyster from NYX. So there's Milk and Oyster. I wasn't paying attention when I closed the lid and I smashed it on the top of the lid. So this one's a little bit dorked up, but it's a really pretty like purple. I'm just sad that the lid cracked on it. All right, so I'm trashing four. I guess I need to write that down. And then I've got, let's see, three, six, seven in my to use up pile. So 76 eyeliners total minus the four, which brings me down to 72 eyeliners. And then I will show you my arm. I'll get some better video of it here in just a second. All right, here we are with the swatches on my arm. I mean, these liners, they seem nice, but they're like, crusty on my skin and my arm actually itches right there. So that's probably not a good sign. And then there's the nude beige. That's the only nude, like actual like neutral liner that I have that I use on my waterline. Some of these blacks are a little gray. And then if you look at like this one here, it looks kind of brown. These 
well that one is a brown liner but these two this one looks gray and that one looks brown some of my blacks and stuff they they don't look quite black and it looks like that one's still wet but these are all of my my liners so yeah um 76 eyeliners I am trashing four I'm going to try and use up seven and that leaves me with 72 actual eyeliners and then these are all the colors that I have let me know what you guys think I know this is a really long one um, I still have uh, brow products to do lip liners I didn't think to do as like a combined thing with something else but I still have those to do um, single eyeshadows nail polishes face products that kind of stuff like foundation and things but yeah so this is eyeliners hopefully you all are having a fantastic day or night wherever you are and now I have the fun job of taking this off and then trying to get a shower and hoping the rest of it comes off so I will see you guys later bye